Hey folks, it's Chris here from A Colorado Hunter's Life. And what I'm doing today is I'm out wandering around the Colorado mountains. And you wouldn't know it, but it's actually the middle of May. So what we're doing today is trying out a new product. I got myself purposely in a little bit of a situation. Suburban so is uh, stuck, doesn't want to go forward, and doesn't want to go back. So what we're going to do is we're going to try out a brand new product. What this is, and I'm holding my hand, is called a track grabber. This is from my friends down at Track Grabber in Florida. They sent me a couple sets to play around with, see how they work up here in Colorado. This is a rescue device that goes on top of your tire. It takes about, oh, 60 seconds to install per tire. And it uh, really eliminates all the hassle of digging, all the hassle of putting on chains, and all the hassle of possibly calling a friend to get you out of the ditch. So stay with me, let's see how it works. So now we're gonna install the Track Grabber on the tire. I've already gone ahead and fed the, the strap through the back side of the tire. It's important that you want to feed uh, and have this buckle on the outside. That's for a couple reasons. This buckle right here is easier to manipulate when it's on the outside rather than the inside of the tire. Just as if you're putting tire chains on, you always want to do your buckling on the outside. And that way it's not going to catch on any brake components or any of your uh, anything on the inside frame of the car where it's a lot tighter than it would be normally. So once you get that fed through, by the way, most trucks have really big open holes in their tires, especially the real fancy wheels, that this thing goes on super easy. I mean, 20 seconds to put one of these on. Mine has these little tiny slits. Still works fine. Just takes a little bit of manipulation through. I recommend if you've maybe got uh, a set of these in your fishing box, you know, or, or whatever laying around the house, just some forceps. Makes it easy to catch the strap and get it through the tiny holes if that's what you got on your tire. Uh, but all you do to get these installed, once you get on the back side, get it nice and tight. You got a double buckle here. If you uh, ever put a helmet on, you might have seen something like this before. Feed your strap through one side. Feed your strap through the next. And make sure it's good and tight. All right, we got that thing nice and tight. We've already installed the front one. Now we're gonna see how these work. All right, folks, so that first one, pretty easy. Got it out really, really quick. So what I've done is I've come back, and this time I really got it stuck. Buried that right side really deep, really deep down in the ditch. So I'm going to have to clear out a little bit of snow, but I'm going to get to the tires, put the track grabbers on all four, and see if that, uh, that'll work and get her out real quick. Let's see what happens. Well, success! We were able to get the truck out with the track grabber with minimal effort. I had to do a little bit of digging just to clear out on the around the wheels just to get them on. Once I did, lifted the truck right out of that high center it was in, and it was buried deep down in the ditch. Again, this is Chris from Colorado Hunter's Life. It's a video demoing the track grabber. Hope you head over to their website at www.trackgrabber.com. We'll see you next time.